Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today I'm excited to say that we now have an official reveal of the new operator coming to Rainbow Six Siege named Alibi. According to this short little teaser trailer, it looks like her gadget is going to allow her to make a holographic copy of herself, place it somewhere on the map, and hopefully distract the enemy. If we just base it off of the trailer, this gadget looks incredibly powerful. Imagine placing two of these in a room, have Alibi standing in another corner, and at least based off of the trailer, there is no difference between the hologram and alibi and so if you rush on in there isn't going to be any fuzziness or anything like that to the hologram it just straight looks like this new operator and you're going to have a hard time knowing what to try to take out and that's going to give her plenty of time to take you down the only way that it looks like you're going to know that it's a hologram is if you take a shot at it now of course if she moves that's going to be a dead giveaway because the hologram can't move but as long as she's standing in that corner and not not making any movement whatsoever, you can drone it out, you can look around, you're gonna see three different operators, and as soon as you rush on in, you're gonna be at a pretty big disadvantage, at least based off of this trailer. Now I imagine there is going to be some direct counters to her, and the first one that comes to mind is IQ. Every single time a new DLC releases, it seems like IQ is getting a little bit more effective because of these gadgets, and I would imagine she is gonna be that direct counter. If you know that Alibi has set up a couple of gadgets in the other room, have IQ identify, oh, the left one is the fake one, the one on the right is the real, relay that information to your teammates, everyone rushes on in, and now hopefully you've turned the tables on Alibi. Another counter I can think of is Dokabi. If I had to take a guess, these holograms are not going to have access to cell phones, and so as soon as you make that call with Dokabi, you hear nothing on the left, you know that's the fake one, the one on the right is making a lot of noise, and that information is going to be incredibly valuable to your team. The final soft counter that I could think of is Jackal. If Alibi is running around for some reason, maybe trying to reinforce a couple of hatches, scan her footprints, and now you know exactly which one is the real one and which isn't. Now, I don't know how reliable this is going to be. Like, if they do have an Alibi, you're probably not going to want to pick Jackal every time, at least to consistently get that information. Uh, but that is going to be at least a soft counter every once in a while. Now, I imagine there is going to be some other way for us to be able to identify what is a hologram and what is isn't while droning. Before, when we had that leak a while back, I made the guess that the holograms were gonna flicker. It was gonna be imperfect, kind of like what we see in the movies. According to this trailer, that doesn't seem to be the case. The only way to get that flicker to really identify from uh, your perspective is to take a shot at it, and that's the only way that's gonna happen. It could still be that, but according to this trailer, that doesn't seem to be the case. The other way that it could work is that maybe there's a small little gadget or device at the feet. There needs to be something that's creating this hologram, and so while it may not be all that obvious if you don't drone it, if you just charge on in, you're not gonna see it at the base of their feet. Who's gonna look at the base of the feet of an operator? But if you do drone on in, you'll realize, oh yeah, there's that little box at the bottom letting you know that that is the fake one. It really seems like Ubisoft is trying to slow down the game a little bit more with the introduction of this operator. Ever since Lion has come out this last season, it's been in a very aggressive meta. Everyone on offense activates their abilities, Lion, Finca, Dokubi, and then they just charge on in even without droning. Well, if you're not droning and you're not taking it cautiously, if they have an alibi, the tables might turn on you. To make matters even worse, for the offensive team who is using those rush tactics, not only are these holograms going to hopefully fool the enemy for a split second, giving defense that edge, uh, but also if you shoot at a hologram, it's going to mark you like Lion for a couple of seconds. Now this is a leak, nothing has been officially confirmed, we'll learn more specifics about this in the next couple of days, but if that is true, that is going to do a number on that rush meta. If you just like to rush in as Ash, that's just your favorite strategy, you don't want to have have any tactics whatsoever, that might be a bit more difficult with Alibi. The final thing that's worth mentioning is that it looks like she has access to an MX-4. I know a lot of people have been hoping that this would be introduced into Rainbow Six Siege, and it doesn't look like you're going to have to wait much longer. All in all, though, I cannot wait to learn more about her gadget. It's difficult to tell how powerful it's going to be right now until we're able to actually use it in action, 
but I have a suspicion, either with a well-coordinated team or someone who really understands how to use it properly, it's gonna be a really fun gadget to use. Uh, but yeah, guys, that has been it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on this gadget. Do you think that Alibi is gonna be bringing something interesting and fun to the game? Are you a little concerned about the way that it's gonna work? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.